Hey guys, it's Nisi. And that copyright strike is off of my account after about six months, give or take a little bit. Eh. It came off a day or two ago, I think, give or take. Um, it's fairly early in the morning. I'm actually driving to work right now. Um, yeah. So, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that. Um, as you can see, I actually have a cell phone holder in my car, which is really nice. Um, a lot of things have changed in six months, give or take. Uh, let's see. So, Sharon and I are engaged. Um, we will be getting married. Um, the date so far is... October of 2016, so it's over a year away. Um, it gives us time to save up, make sure everyone's able to make it that we need to make it. Um, especially her parents, obviously. And yeah, so. Hmm. Um, she has a new job, which is awesome. out of the, the ghetto, basically, is what it came down to. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, when did I put that? I don't know, September, I think it was. September, October. Yeah, it was, it was September. So, yeah. Um... I don't know what else. Um, referring to games and whatnot, I uh, I continued to try to get Dark Calling to work while Copyright Strike was on. Uh, it's it's Mission Seven and Eight. Uh, they keep it keeps crashing in the middle of either one of those. I finished Seven, and then I was in about an hour into Eight, and it crashed. Which unfortunately meant that it made it really hard to finish the 13 missions. Because apparently for some reason 8 um, must execute some protocol on, on XP, because it was made for Windows 98, that Windows 7 doesn't like, or maybe it's referencing a DLL that's no longer available. I don't know, I can't get hardly any information about the crash other than uh, DC.exe has quit. So, um, whoop, slip. Let's see. What else? Yeah, I don't know. Um, not a whole lot else has really happened. So I've been doing a lot more uh, real life stuff than anything else, which is really nice. Um, got back into playing tabletop games. Uh, as you can tell from the channel that we, we all put up, uh, you know, Dennis, Knock, Sharon, and I uh, with B, we had the Game of Fates, and then we had the Dungeons and Dragons. So I would recommend checking that out. That's understandable. You know, it's a tabletop. Not everyone's interested in tabletops. Um, boy, what else? I don't know. I actually can't think of what else. Yeah, I, 
I've really scaled back um, playing League of Legends quite quite a bit actually. I, I play to get to gold, and, and then I just kind of stop. Um, it doesn't take me very long anymore. Like there used to be, you know, the struggle is real and stuff, but with with my other account. Such high default MMR, it's actually not an issue at all. Hell, I went fucking six and four in the placements of the season, and I, I ended up at silver one and like 80 LP. So, you know, four games later, Zinek uh, gold five, and I mean, my placements were gold four, I just haven't played. It says my MMR is sitting around 1700 though, so. in one of those games just so you guys can see it because I, I actually have a new computer. Um, we rebuilt my computer here in March and I gave Sharon my other one because when we were doing when we were doing research for the computers we discovered that the unless you're going from like a, an old Sandy Bridge i3 to like a, a current um, Haswell uh, i5 or i7, you're not gaining anything. So my old Sandy Bridge uh, i5 is almost a unilateral move to the Haswell i5 I have now. So we just kept my pro my old processor and built me a slightly upgraded one. Um, new video card, motherboard, different RAM, you know. My hard drives are the same. Um, I have a new monitor as well. Uh, my new monitor is a 16 by 10 and it's uh, 19, yeah, 1920 by 1200, which is really nice. Um, it really, really makes everything so much nicer. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, the Gaze Craft, uh, they upgraded Terra Firma Craft again. Um, I think it's, it's a 0.8 right now, or 0.79, I don't remember. Uh, they upgraded it and everyone's in agreement that it was fun the first time because it was kind of new and challenging. Um, we've decided with the limitations of that particular game, we are not going to continue um, playing it because it's obscenely hard for no reason. Like, okay, so we we have 87 parts online and we have yet to get out of the Stone Age because trying to find copper is stupid ridiculous. And this was after we did an update to make it better. So we don't, we don't think the starting over would be as fun as our first time, uh, but we are considering hosting a Minecraft server for anyone on the YouTube who would like to play. Um, it will have mods on it, but that's, that's a few months down the road. Um, it's probably going to end up being a Feed the Beast variant, and it will be whitelisted, so if you're subscriber to the channel, uh, you'll have to let me know and we can work out a whitelist for that. Um, it'll probably be like a 100 or 200 person server because Linux doesn't require a whole lot of hardware to run a high-end server. And I have plenty of bandwidth, again, thankfully. Um, still patiently waiting for Fios to come to my area, which will probably never happen, but you know, what else? Um, let's see. Oh, I've also been playing a game on my phone called Ingress. Um, it's an augmented reality game from Mantic, um, which is owned by Google. And so basically, 
basically you pick a side, resistance or enlightened, and you try to take over portals that are actual locations real life that you actually have to go and visit. Uh, which is part of the reason I haven't played as many video games. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I might actually... What's kind of neat about it is that you can play on your own. Um, and it's perfectly fine to play on your own. But the community, especially around here anyway, for the Enlightened is absolutely amazing. They actively reach out to new members. They uh, help you level the char your, your character up to, you know, 6, 7, and 8. So you're actually able to assist with some of the higher end ops. There's secure channels where, you know, you can do uh, lane clearing, uh, mega field throwing. And when I mean mega field, there's, there's when you link up three portals in a triangle, it throws what's called a, a mind uh, control field. And you gain mind units from said field because the more mine units that you cover in populace, in local populace, um, the higher your score is. That's how you make the most points, uh, called AP, which is also experience. And so mega fields are ones that cover, you know, there were several that have popped up in the last month or so about um, covering most of Seattle, covering most of Mercer Island, covering most of Washington. Um, that kind of stuff. So, you know, you have teams of 30, 40 agents um, playing along together, and it's it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, we're actually going to be going to what's called a, a bar farm tonight, where we get to farm for gear all night. Uh, because I'm a little I'm a little low on some of the gear, but not not a lot. So I've been playing that quite a bit. Um. First week of June, I'll be heading to Vegas, so that'll be fun. Uh, with Sharon, of course. Hmm. I can't really think of anything else too much, really, because I just I haven't been playing a lot of video games. I mean. Haven't. Um, I've been watching the LCS at least. So obviously, you know, TSM! But we can't. Uh, TSM won't be coming to. Well, the LCS, Riot, won't be coming to PAX this year. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I like PAX a lot. Uh, I like it a lot for the League of Legends stuff. Because while I enjoy all video games, of course. A lot of them don't necessarily interest me at PAX, and the panels are really interesting some of the time. So I do enjoy that. Um, yeah. Yep, I don't know. <laughs> These people just... They don't understand. Oh, it's hilarious to watch people not know how to drive. Um, mentioned I actually have a new car. Uh, I no longer have my Sunfire. I have an 06 uh, G35 Sport, uh, which means it is a six-speed manual, which is fun. Um, also, it's sitting around 315 to 330 horsepower, so it's not too much slower than my Sunfire. Um, it's a little bit heavier, so I'm not running 12s. I'm, I'm running mid-13s in the quarter mile, give or take a little bit. Um, but I'll have some more mods here planned in a little bit. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, uh, I'm going to have to edit this video, I think, a little bit. I'm recording pretty much the entire drive all the way to work. Oddly enough, it's only taking about 15 minutes. Well, it'll be 20 total in the end once I get to work, actual work, work. Um, 
Yeah, it rains a lot here still. This winter was pretty mild. Ah. It's really pretty. Um, I know you can't really see the prettiness because we're behind a Ford truck, but a Ford Ranger. But it is really pretty here. Definitely don't regret moving uh, at all. Oh yeah, speaking of, in about a month or so, I'll be doing my three year anniversary vlog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily make it an hour or not, but I will be doing that with Sharon, of course. Um, that's gonna be out in our Memorial Day, so there is at least one other guaranteed video. And hopefully maybe some games can come out that I'm actually able to play on a more regular basis. I got I got bored of Hawken. Um, GTA 5 came out for the PC just recently. Uh, I'm currently waiting for a sale to buy it. I don't know if I want to spend the $60. It's not overly optimized for the PC. It's really, as I understand, the port is absolutely fantastic compared to, say, GTA 4. Because it was, that was terrible port. Um, in fact, a lot of them were actually terrible ports. But, you know, Vice City was a terrible port as well. In fact, they were all terrible ports except for 5 here. So, looking forward to that. City Comic Con. Uh, Sharon and I are actually going to go to that next year. So that'll be fun. See you guys later.